So we have some more news about the uh, Marvel What If series that Kevin Feige announced at the San Diego Comic-Con. Basically in the What If logo that you can see on screen right now, if you zoom right into the W at the very top, you can see a zombie Captain America. So clearly they're going to be pulling a lot of stuff from the comics and introducing it into this What If series. And we're finally going to get Marvel zombies. It's not going to be live action, but it will be in animated form, which depending on how it looks, what style they go with, it could be very good. So there were only ever five issues of Marvel zombies came out in 2005, 2006, somewhere around that time. So it's a very old comic. It's kind of established at this point. And it was actually very, very successful, you know, relatively speaking. Everyone kind of ate this stuff up. It's pretty good because it's just so absurd. And the What If series is just the perfect format to have this stuff placed in. This is what I would be excited about for a What If series is something just ridiculous like this. Like what if all the heroes turned bad? What if everyone in the Marvel Universe became a zombie? Basically, if you want to know the story of it or the gist of it, a zombie Reed Richards from a different parallel universe or one of the many basically tricks his other half in a different world to like open up a gate or let them in and from there it's just all chaos you get these overpowered superheroes in zombie form just going nuts on everyone and it is very very gory it's very um not i wouldn't say rated r but it's like it's up there and that's what you kind of have to see in the what if series as well i don't know how they would market it but this marvel zombie thing has to be gory and i think as all of the marvel fans get a little bit older it would be a good direction to go to include some more graphic content like r-rated stuff we're kind of at that point after deadpool so yeah it's, it's probably fine but because they're clearly going to be adapting this in the what if we're going to get stuff like zombie spider-man like you saw in the, the logo zombie captain america zombie iron man you can see that Reed richards in the background here you're gonna get like zombie hulk zombie wolverine although it's kind of interesting though because the x-men haven't been introduced in, into the mcu just yet will they be introduced in the what if series like these animated stuff that they're going to be doing even daredevil and all these other properties like the punisher are they going to be introducing these characters preemptively and will their character in the animated series kind of reflect how they're going to be portrayed in the actual mcu so in my first video about the whole at marvel announcements at san diego I was kind of a little bit pessimistic about all of it you know it didn't really grab me it's just kind of logos and no like synopsis about what it's going to be about you're, you're taking their word for it but now that i've seen this for the what if series it is kind of exciting so as long as marvel just stays on this trend it's going to be a very good phase four like other stories that are going to be adapted are things like what if dr Doom had become a hero. What if the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner, which we actually got in the Smart Hulk we have in Endgame? And actually, what if Jane Foster became Thor, which we're getting? The whole female Thor thing started in the What If series back in 2005, 2006, and then was later adapted into actual MCU stuff. Well, not MCU, but the Marvel Comics stuff back in like 2015. But all of these stories are going to be presented using the Watcher. The Watcher is basically, usually, it's just him or it's like a collection of them. Their characters that just watch everything. They don't actually interact with the universe and they're the perfect catalyst to kind of show you all of these stories they even break the fourth wall but let me know your thoughts about the what if series are you excited for it what are you most anticipating for marvel phase four but yeah make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching